So look what I found in uh, Marshalls. I found this canister and it says fork, knife, spoon, of course, but I don't want to put utensils in it. But I did find this for my coffee station. Um, sets of coffee cups, lids, and um, sleeves by Ray Dunn in black and white. Perfect for my station. Of course, now we have to change the words. So my trusty letters from uh, Michael's are going to come in handy. The only thing is they're, they're, these are a bit big for the space. So I'm going to have to um, cut them down a bit and I'll let you know how it goes. These were a great deal. There was eight in a set for $5.99. And I mean, these are really hard to come by. If you live in the States, you've probably seen them. But here in Canada, it's really touch and go with Ray Dunn. <laughs> I clearly have too much time on my hand because I just painted it. I just used normal paint for the walls. I didn't care. It's just decoration. So I did it. I painted it white and I used those stickers and I just placed them on top when it was dry. So cup, lid, sleeve. Anyway, I got these at Costco. They are so good. They are like shortbread with some raspberry jam in them. Perfect for my coffee station, don't you think? So my counters are way tidier now. And I put this Marble Lazy Susan. It's actually meant for my kitchen table, but I I'm using it for this area. And I got a white jug, put some, what are these called? Hydrangeas. Oh gosh, they're not easy to find. I got them at Michael's. And I put this little uh, cake stand with the glass dome and a candle and I hope that I'll keep it tidy like this from now on. Of course, you know it's Christmas coming, so I can't help myself. So I found these cute little milk chocolate bombs in Home Sense, And at first, I wasn't sure what to do with them. I thought you'd just throw it in your coffee. I guess you could. But um, what they say to do is to boil some milk, of course, and wrap the chocolate balls, and put one in a cup, and then pour the hot steaming milk over top. The chocolate will melt, and the marshmallows will rise to the top. So I thought that was such a cute, cozy idea for Christmas for when somebody comes over, if anybody. And I mainly bought it for my grandson because I knew he'd get a kick out of it. So I did some damage again today and yesterday. I can't stop myself. I have to stop now because I think I bought everything that I like in the store so far. And, uh, and I haven't even been in the States. So I got this sign at Walmart here in Canada and I've sort of been eyeing it for a while and I wasn't sure where I could put it. Found a good place. I found a bigger snowflake at HomeSense. I found these little houses at HomeSense. This cute wooden glittery tree at HomeSense. I mean everything's at HomeSense, right? This metal tree I thought would go perfect in my kitchen beside my coffee station. And I got this cute little tree that I'm gonna put on the shelves and a new kitchen towel set. And I've been looking for this for so long. In the States, I saw it somewhere and I found it. I found it at HomeSense. I mean, I go to different HomeSense. It's not just one store. And what else? Okay, so these two things I saw at a dollar store here in Canada called Dollarama. And I thought this was a pretty good find for $4 and 250 and I bought it for my daughter so she can make her own coffee station because I don't need I don't need this sign when I've already got this one 
And then I had this old tray and I painted it white a long time ago. So I thought, what could I do with it? So it's gonna fit right in beside my, co my coffee station. And these are just stickers. And it turned out cute. I might go to the store and find a wooden snowflake and paint it white and take off the zero, the O and might look cute, right? And then I had another piece of wood plank under my couch that I, it was a sign that I didn't need anymore. And I painted it white and I wrote the word coffee and painted it. And I tried to, tried to sand it a bit so that it looks a bit distressed, but it was getting messy. So I just left it alone. And I'm not gonna put this up right now, but one day I will, maybe in the summer when I don't have so much stuff up there. Through Christmas, I have too much stuff going on on the coffee machine, uh, coffee station, so it's getting too much already, but I'm gonna have to remove some of it when I put up the Christmas stuff, that's for sure. Oh, and I'll show you down here. This has always, always had my dishes in it, so I kind of played around with it and I, I put a box down here with my coffee pods. I had this box already. It has a cute little chalkboard front. And then I put my Ray Dunn paper ones down here for now. Yeah. And I think what I'll do is, as before, here's all my coffee pods. I put the Starbucks in here, the Tim Hortons, just the regular blend. And here I've got the hot chocolate ones. So that will be yummy in the winter. And in this drawer, it's just tea, tea bags. And here's some prepackaged little coffee um, bags that I, there's Tim Hortons as well, but I have, sometimes I run out of pods and then I put them in the little plastic, found it, here it is, one of these little things that you can put the coffee in. So I just sort of put them in these little baggies in case I need them. I put the chocolate bombs in this cute canister here. So I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but maybe I'll just go underneath the, uh, the cabinet for now.